Republicans now control both houses of Congress following yesterday's midterm elections. CBS News projected GOP wins in key battleground states, including Colorado, Arkansas, Iowa, and North Carolina, helping Republicans pick up the six seats they needed for a majority in the Senate. The GOP, GOP also locked up control of the House for two more years. In Missouri, Republican Congressman Blaine Lukemeyer held on to his District 3 seat with a victory over Democrat Courtney Denton and Libertarian Stephen Hedrick. Lukemeyer has said that after this election, he would consider a run for governor in 2016. And Republican Vicki Hartzler won re-election in the race for the 4th Congressional District against challengers Nate Irvin and Herschel Young. It will be Hartzler's third term in the U.S. House. The question for Missourians was not so much who they were voting for, but what, as four proposals were on the ballot yesterday. Missouri voters approved Constitutional Amendment 10, limiting some of the governor's budget-cutting powers. Lawmakers will now be able to override the governor's decision to freeze our slow spending on items in the budget. Voters turned down Amendment 6. That would have allowed early voting for six business days, ending the Wednesday before a general election. They also approved Amendment 2, allowing allegations of past criminal acts to be used as evidence against people facing sex-related charges involving victims under 18 years old. And Amendment 3 was rejected by a landslide. That proposed amendment would have based teacher promotions, demotions, terminations, and raises on student performance data. The measure failed by more than 750,000 votes. The hardest-fought race in Cole County was for circuit judge, in which incumbent Pat Joyce beat her Republican challenger, Brian Stumpy. The mood was upbeat at Joyce's watch party. 5,714 votes, 54% of the vote, to 4,917 with 46% of the vote. Final numbers show Joyce took home 53% of the vote last night, this despite the heavy spending on Stumpy's behalf. Joyce says she credits her supporters with doubling down after money flowed to her opponent's coffers. When they saw what was going to be brought in against me, they stepped forward and people from around the state came forward to say that they did not want politics to, to go over justice in our community. Joyce says her top priority will be getting a veterans treatment court up and running next month. Joyce's challenger, Brian Stumpy, says he's disappointed with yesterday's turnout. A state leadership committee donated $100,000 directly to Stumpy weeks before the election. The group also gave almost $300,000 to its local political action committee to pay for negative advertisements against Joyce. Stumpy says he remained positive throughout the campaign. The money that I was given, I used it all for positive advertising. I mean, uh, pe people say that I'm responsible for negative ads. That's third-party money under Missouri law. It's a no-contact state. You can't control that. You can't tell them not to do it. You can't tell them what to do. So, you know, I think it, it played some role, but the good thing is that with all the money I was given, I used it all for positive advertising. Stumpy will continue to work as the prosecutor of Jefferson City. Republicans added more numbers to their supermajority in the Missouri General Assembly. Voters are elected an overwhelming number of Republicans during the elections yesterday, giving the GOP a greater than two-thirds majority in both the House and Senate. Well enough seats to be able to override vetoes by Democratic Governor Nixon without needing any votes from minority party Democrats. One of the victories for the Republican Party came in the race for Missouri House District 47. Republican candidate Charles Basie unseated incumbent John Wright by just 263 votes. And Republican Travis Fitzwater will succeed Jeannie Riddle as the Missouri House District 49 seat. Uh, Fitzwater took home nearly 62% of the vote in his race against former Representative Gracia Backer with uh, more than 2,000 vote margin. 